Friday. It is Friday? I am ready for it too, man. This has been a, one of them hell of a weeks. That's it? Well, it's it's the week before a holiday week, right? Yeah. Uh, that always makes it interesting anyway. A hell of a week sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I see you got something cool here. So we do. Um, like I said, it is getting um, close to the holiday, the holiday time. So even though it's Thanksgiving, people's already starting to look for buying gifts and stuff like that. So that's when we bring out the, you know, the clocks, the chairs. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a race tr uh, track back there, uh, Rat Fink um, racetrack. Uh, they sell really good every year. Started with four, down to one. Um, it probably won't last the, the day. <laughs> and that's if uh, it don't get pulled aside for my little boy because he saw it this morning and he wants it pretty bad so well, it's a cool looking box anyway yeah um a I lot of the the techs these days don't even realize where rat fink actually come from but uh they still they they buy it up super quick so we'll give everybody a history lesson where it comes from i know it's an old tv show uh that's about all i know about it like i said most of us younger <laughs> guys don't know where it come from you know bill had that rat fink tattoo on his arm yeah you know? Yeah, I know when it, big into it when I first got started into it, one of the things that everybody talked about was the fact that uh, we had Rat Fink and stuff like that. You know, they, the people who went in to be distributors at the same time as I did, they were a little older, yeah. which we had some younger guys too. We had uh, one guy, I think, had just turned 21 at the time, or 22 maybe. But either way, me and him didn't know what everybody was talking about, and they told us it was, you know, I think they, if I recall, it was a TV show that used to come on or something like that. But... Either way, um, that's cool. They all liked it, and people still like it. <laughs> so, well, let's talk about that clock because that's so yeah. Sweet. Uh, LED illuminated table clock. Uh, it is clear. It does have the numbers on there. As you can see in the picture, it does write up blue. Um, I guess it's I, I say blue. It's you know normally what shade they to go with the clear there, but everybody really likes. Is uh, it plug-in or battery? Battery. Uh, if I'm not severely mistaken, I remember it being a battery. But uh, let me read on it and see, because I don't know. Well, we'll just open it up. That's cool. So actually, it looks like it does. I think it does plug in too. So it's probably yeah. It looks like the clock portion has got a battery, and then the uh, LED has got a plug-in too. So. Nice. So we would have to put the needle on and everything, but there's where we put the battery for the actual clock. And then we got a little plug in on the side and it's gonna have a switch on it so we can cut it on and off. So pretty cool little deal. Um, I ordered one for myself. I haven't opened it yet. Probably should have, um, but we'll That's see. That's a good looking line. Clock. It'd go good on somebody's clock desk for line. sure. Uh, there's the little switch that you could cut it on and off. So you ain't got to crawl under, crawl yeah. under, behind, around, something every time. You can just have it to where you can leave it plugged up and cut it on and off as, as you want. So, cool. cool little deal there. But we've also been showing off the new safety glasses that we got. They actually come with a built-in light on these. Um, I just got these in Thursday. Uh, it's got the rechargeable LED, 160 lumens, 13 hour runtime. That way you ain't gotta be holding a lot and you know. Cool. Or, so, pretty cool. Um, I haven't got a lot of feedback because I haven't really showed a whole lot of people. Uh, if I show it right away when I get them, they usually don't make it to the video, so. Uh, <laughs> so safety glasses with a built-in flashlight. Built-in flashlight. Um, we do a couple of sawmills. Uh, and they have to wear safety glasses at all times, sure. so um, it's pretty important for them. But also, uh, anytime you're you know grinding, cutting, oh, yeah. messing with races or anything like that, Need it's really to nice see. to have these on because you do not want metal to get in your eyes. Um, I've you know I've seen horror stories and, and even been around them to where even though the metal that gets in their eye doesn't. Um, puncture or anything it's still as soon as it gets in your eye there's all that moisture and stuff so it begins to rust and it, it causes an infection pretty quick so 
safety glasses are pretty important. Not to but. mention it hurts really bad. I don't want to go and see. Um, <laughs> I'll just I'll just wear my safety glasses and uh, keep that from happening. But we've also been showing off these wrenches. These are old. They're not new by no means. But every time we have them on the truck, we sell them super quick. So we got some in. I got them on a sale. Um, those are really nice wrenches. Uh, sell a bunch of them. I know I saw somebody the other day looking for a set of them. So. Y'all, those are cool. So well, we can sell all kind of stuff for Christmas if you're looking for something like that. Or we can sell you tools if you're needing something for tools as well. There you go. And the rat think cart bundle and still the, yep, kicking. It is. $15 a week. This gets better. Yeah. Uh, well, we actually sold the impact. We had the blue impacts in there. Yeah. We actually sold them. So it allowed the price to go down so fifteen dollars a week very nice y'all well are y'all all ready for thanksgiving we are uh well i say we are we gotta go we got our dinners actually tomorrow because we got two places to go on thanksgiving so we gotta go home and start prepping for that when we get done but yeah uh, We'll definitely be uh, in full swing as soon as we get off this evening. <laughs> One last thing, we always like to have something around that's not too expensive that you can get for uh, whether it be your father-in-law, brother, whoever. Um, so this year what we we found was a 46-in-1 multi-tool. Uh, there's the port number there. Uh, just something nice to to be able to give them something right. And it's also nice for your last minute shoppers. We have a lot of those. Yeah. Um, you know, we always have the socks and stuff like that that, that we can sell. Um, but this is just something else. Um, you can see it's- Looks it's, like a credit card. Looks like a credit card. It has a little protective uh, deal to go in there. And it's just got several different uses that it can be. Um, so it's screwdrivers and wrenches and 46 things <laughs> all kind of stuff i uh i've never really carried one of these but i know um a lot of people will put them in like their um bags and stuff if they're going somewhere going somewhere or something like that just don't take it to the airport <laughs> that probably wouldn't be good i don't know it ain't got a knife on it does it well i don't have a knife but they're well i said yeah it does it has yeah, a box opener right there it. Yeah, you'd be in trouble with that. Yeah, and then it's got a cutter here too, so you might not want to do that. You just have to be a bad dude to kill somebody with that thing, is all I can say. <laughs> hey, but, man. You know. You know, they say Chuck Norris can do it with his hands, so <laughs> why not? <laughs> That's true. But uh, anyway, well, thanks for coming today and letting us check out all the cool new stuff. Oh, yeah. Having a tour. All right, guys. Well, like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. See ya.